uplift Living in faithful truth John 8 and 32 says And ye shall know the truth And the truth shall make you free Power to lift you up Power to set you free We need a powered lift The truth will set you free Living in faith for truth Receive the word you need Power of the gospel ministries Preach the word indeed We here to help each other Witness the truth and protect each other So we set aside ourselves So we can reach each other So let your worship cry Let your praise out Now let the truth up in you Release that holy shout Reverend Red, how you doing? I'm doing blessed. I'm doing blessed. Just excited about what, what's about to happen, what we're about to hear, who we're going to interview. Tonight's show, Jerry Royce. Once again, our producer, Jerry Royce Live, that made us happen once again with another fabulous guest. It's a great day. Yes. I don't know about you, but, but I'm having a great day, Lady Kay. What about you? I am too. You know I am. Okay, okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I see everything going well with you, your books and everything, and you got more books coming. You just never stop working, do you? And that's why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something happened when I married <laughs> a, a Jamaican man like you. I just got busy, you know, got to work. You got three, four, five jobs. <laughs> yeah, I got three, four, five jobs. <laughs> beautiful, yeah, beautiful. When well, I'm excited, and I just want to I welcome our listening audience from all over the world. I keep forgetting this is a worldwide podcast. We got our guests in, in, in London, our people in Jamaica that listen. If they don't listen to live, they listen to the replay. And just want to thank Jerry Ross and Positive Power 21 Radio for this opportunity for people to hear, let alone us. Lady K, they hear our voice, you know, and the people that stuff on here just want to thank God for this opportunity. And I just I would like to listen on this. We can't do this without you. We thank God for you for our guests that's on tonight and our past guests and our future guests. We thank God for you guys and, and ladies, you know, and Lady K, I just thank God for you for being my partner in crime, my ride and die, my 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 baby mama and my my girlfriend, my ex who Oh, this show ain't about you, is it? It's not about you. Right? Okay, it's about, it's about our guests, so I got to make sure I stay on the Absolutely. Control, all right? All right. So let me, let me, um, let me, let me say a word of prayer, and we're going to get started. All right? We're going to get started. Heavenly Father, we come. We thank you, Father God, for this time. We thank you, Father God, for this night. We thank you, Father God, for this opportunity, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for Positive Power 21, Jerry Lewis, live our producer. We thank you for our listening audience. We thank you for our guests on tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We pray everything that is said, that is done, is said and done to uplift, to encourage, to build someone up on tonight, Father God, to encourage someone, Father God, that might be going through any kind of trials and tribulation, pain, or hurt right now, Father God. We pray right now, Father God, that someone will tune in, Father God, that is not saved, I might ask at the end of the show, what must I do to be saved? What must I do to have the joy, the peace, the love that they share, that they have, Heavenly Father? So we thank you, Father God, so have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, and... Amen again! Amen. <laughs> I am so excited. Let's get through our announcements and then we will introduce our amazing guests on tonight. Well, if you want to get to know Reverend Red and myself a little better, please go to our website, powerofthegospel.org. We know that you will be blessed by connecting with us on all of our social media outlets. And um, if you do not know, we are also Team Sexy on TikTok. And that's sexy with three X's. And so we love, laugh, and um, we've been doing some new little skits. So if you love Martin and Gina, if you love, if you love um, uh, Fred Sanford, then you'll love 
some of our new TikTok. So check it out. Um, also, I would love to let you know that on Sunday mornings at 1030 and 1130, we have um, we are live on Facebook and on TikTok. So check out our morning worship. We are still um, not in the building due to COVID restrictions and movement. So we are virtual. So please check us out um, through our Power of the Gospel Facebook page, Red Henry or Crystal Henry Facebook pages. On Wednesday nights, Bible study is through my page, Crystal Henry. So please check that out at 730. And then if you um, if you would like um, at if you would like to join us on Clubhouse, please check me out Sunday evenings um, in the campaign comeback room, Monday evenings in Made to Lead Millions room, and Tuesday, um, the Success Tank. Those are three amazing Clubhouse rooms that you can be blessed in love, life, and leadership. So with that being said, um, Reverend Red, are you ready to... Uh, are you ready? For, ready. Steady, you are ready. ready. I am yes. excited. Yes. Let's go. Yes. 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 Well, good. You're. You're. I was having trouble hearing you a little earlier. I don't know um, if your mic was muffled. Can, you hear, me, can but, you hear me better now? Maybe I just need to speak up. Can you hear me better now? Yes, I can hear you better now. Okay. Okay. Yes. I yes. just had to adjust my mic and speak a little bit louder. I'm good right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, great. Fabulous. Um, our next uh, amazing guest is a first lady as well. Isn't that amazing? And yeah. so um, <laughs> she is a singer, former model. She has had articles where she's also a, a writer. And she has such a powerful, powerful um story. Um, she's also uh, been a singer, background singer, and now she's brought to the forefront. So without further ado, I don't want to get too much into her bio because we want to be able to discuss everything with her. But without further ado, we would love to officially welcome Lady J. Come on. Lady J. Hello, Lady J. Hello. Hi. It, <laughs> it is so great to on? have you. Oh, it is such an honor to be with you, Pastor Henry and uh, Pastor Evangelist Crystal. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just very, very, I'm in a good place tonight. I, I'm, I'm feeling really good about sitting down what? and discussing with you <laughs> what God has given me. What I'm talking about. <laughs> well, good, what I'm talking good. About. You have Good. to be and comfortable. You got to be ready to laugh and have some fun. So that's what we're going to have. Yes. <laughs> absolutely. Yes, but I, 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 I know when it's over, the first thing I'm going to do is go to TikTok and look at Team Sex. Now you said it's an <laughs> triple, triple, triple X first lady. <laughs> Hey, and, 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 and trust Absolutely. me, I did that for a reason. i got to tell you the story behind that later, but it, but it ain't about me tonight, okay? It's about you. It's well, about I just want to make sure I got the, the name right. I want to yeah. make sure I got the name right, Pastor. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to leave it alone, but I want to make sure I got the name right. right. So it's T-E-A-M-S-E yeah. triple X Y. Y. X-X-X-Y. Okay. Wow. Well, yes. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so like, see the triple yeah, X. Yeah. Why? Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I got you. Um, hey, lady, lady Jay, first of all, let me share something with you. I, I was on a road trip today. I went to pick up my son from, from school, right? And um, mm -hmm. so I was on the road for about two hours, right? Well, two and a half, mm -hmm. probably, right? And you know what mm -hmm. I was jamming to, right? I was jamming to your music. But you know, God. the whole way. So I, I basically heard almost every song. You know, I got one where you reach back, and I say, I said, yeah, he owes me. She went back and got the Kevin Campbell track of Old Bay, of uh, uh, Bay, Let's Pray. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you said, go. Oh, to you two, to you two folks don't know nothing about that, eh? But I said, I, I no, got no, no, that. No, 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 no
that song is so real because sometimes in an argument, in a marriage, sometimes one of us has got to stop and go, babe, let's pray. You know, so yes. and that that song is so helpful. I can see that in so many ways in in a, in, a, in a relationship. But here's what I want to open up tonight with an ask you. Hey, what I want to ask you? There's so many things. You know, your first lady, your um, that uh, column, you had um, your singer, you, all that. So what I, what I want to ask you is, when did you recognize your gift? At what age did you say, you know what? Yes, I want to be a singer, or when you were younger, you wanted to go another path. Did you want to do something else? I see some. I see another thing about you also that I noticed, and I can see it. I can see it clearly when you say you were a model, right? I was a, mo- you were a model. Well, yeah. I, I did, so you did some, some, some. Yeah, you yeah. know. You, you yeah. remember back so then, everybody see. was a model. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I mean, I can see you're, you're a beautiful woman. I, I can see. So oh, the you know what I you is that, um, of all this gifts that I'm sharing with our listening audience, when you were younger, did, did what led you? Two more question. What led you to the direction of being, you know, producing your music, being a singer, and all that? And the second part of the question is. Was there something else that you had your mind set up to be, or you always wanted to be a singer from a little, little young girl? Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you know, when you're from a singing family, like what I was born okay. into, um, you okay. gon' sing. So, and if you mm-hmm. go to church, you're gonna sing in church. It isn't anything where okay. you're negotiable. Get your behind. <laughs> get this, you don't know if I can say behind on y'all program, but tail. Yes, get you your can. tail <laughs> up there. And you're going to sing for Jesus. Okay. So it was one of those things. But so I, I wasn't always wanting to be a singer. I was I was made to learn and to uh, exercise that gift. But then you fall in love with it. You fall in love with it. And I found myself praying, Lord, if you could just teach me how to sing instead of sing. Because, yeah, right. you know, singing right, and right, singing right. is different. So I, I, right. I would Come sing on. for a long time. And I was that little girl. And they said, oh, they just letting her get up there because of her mom and daddy. And then you get to singing, okay. and, and the people say stuff like, oh, baby, sing for Jesus. Sing, <laughs> sing for Jesus. <laughs> and, and when they tell you to sing for Jesus, that means you you singing, but you're not singing. Unless somebody right, right, stand up right. and want to throw a shoe or wave a handkerchief at you. and You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, when my I, grandmother I, died, <laughs> y'all don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. But when my grandmother <laughs> passed away, um, I asked the Lord to to let me sing at her funeral. And she had taught me uh, uh, when I was I saw the Holy Ghost on her life, and I asked the Lord for the Holy Spirit and the gift of speaking in tongues, and He filled mm-hmm. me at a young age. So I mean, I can't say that I've always lived saved, but I've always known Christ. For a very long time, so okay. my life kind of okay. reads like an obituary. Like when it says, "When I die," and it says, "Saved at an early age." I really did get saved at an early age. They're just not trying right. to put me okay. in heaven. So I went in there <laughs> and I. Di- <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Let me let, let me get more conservative. Uh, no, please don't. You're on the wrong show. Well, you're on the wrong show. You're you're on the wrong show. show. For conservative. <laughs> Be you. I don't, don't want to be. Day. I don't want to be. I don't want to get too. You know, I was comfortable, yeah. but I don't want to get too no. comfortable. I don't, I don't want to, you know, wear my welcome. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Tell me how old so, were you? So, what age were you when your grandmother came? I was good and grown. I was good and grown. Okay. Like okay. we had already okay. toured with my father, who's a gospel artist, um, okay. Pastor uh, Jimmy Dale, and he is like gospel's greatest soloist you can hear him singing on bird and sound he said people think that that's a computer singing that down 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 but that's my father and uh, we toured did bobby jones and all of that stuff but i was always in the background but when i i I yielded totally to the lord you know when you get to that place where you say i I, it's all or nothing jesus i don't care what it Mm -hmm. looks like i don't care if i snot if i sweat my hair out all of me lord and i lay prostrate before the lord and then i went to that funeral and i gave my all and that's the day i sang and i've been singing ever since okay praise the lord praise the lord okay okay lady go ahead 
Lady Jane, Lady Kay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we well, look. We got the spiritual side of you. So, um, and and your parents had you singing all over the place. What's the furthest place that you traveled with your parents with singing? Ooh, Ooh I know the one the one tour that I regret uh, missing was when my father was over in Europe. They did a, a Europe tour. Um, so, but the furthest that I sang would be the Philippines because that's where I'm born. Um, okay, so, you okay. Know, yeah, okay. yeah, I'm a native of the Philippines. And, uh, to, if in, and I know they're listening. Maganda umaga, which means, you know, hello, you know, hello, man, hello, come on, stop. And uh, so that would be the furthest. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. That is amazing. So your father... Yes. You got to back up and say, oh, look the question, because she said the Europe tour when she went to sing, she regretted that. So she got to find out what that was. No, she said now. she missed it. She missed it. Okay, now. Yeah, yeah I, I regret, I regret that I missed it. I regret mm -hmm. that I missed it. Oh, you that regret that you though. missed it. Okay, all right. Got yeah, you. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. you. All right. Well, shout out to the yeah, Philippines. Yes. 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 To the PI. <laughs> my family. Or what they were saying, Tagalog. My, they don't, a lot of Filipinos don't produce, don't um, pronounce the letter F. So it'd be like, my family, oh. my family, my family. Okay. 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 <laughs> excellent. Excellent. So do you write your own music? Yes, ma'am. So you yes, have. I can't give it, I can't take all credit for it because mm -hmm. I prayerfully. Uh, ask mm. the Holy Spirit. I say, you know, I say, Lord, give me a song that will penetrate the heart. Like a lot of the times we as Christians, and I know from being in ministry with my husband, and I, I know you know this as well, uh, Evangelist Crystal, you see the ugly side, the side of uh, that's been hidden behind the mask. Yes. Um, when we go to church, we put on the mask, everything's mm. fine, everybody looking good. Mm. But when you get into those counseling sessions and the gloves come off, and you hear what's really going on behind closed doors. I wanted my mm. music to address that because not everybody's mm. gonna make it have a meeting with the pastor. Not everybody's gonna mm. have that support group where right. mommy and daddy stayed married. You know, right? So right. where where can we put it in the music? Where can we put right. it in the music? Right, right. Yes, because yeah. you deal with some really heavy, heavy issues, and mm -hmm. I want you to tell the listening audience. Um, you know, about the, the song about the abuser, about being abused. Can you tell the listening audience what what was the background for that? And, you know, because it's it's a powerful song. So I just want you to, to just pour it out to the to our listening audience. Okay. I, I have um, women that I've encountered through my walk with Christ, friends, family members, people that I've loved who have been victims of uh, domestic violence and oftentimes when you're so close to those that you love it's hard to not get emotionally involved to not get in your flesh when you're trying to give them yes uh, <laughs> the the remedy to that situation you know? yes yes um and, and and to be able to separate my love for you and the flesh part of me that wants every bit to make that individual a victim of domestic violence, you know? Um, and then to, to, to still walk in that love of Christ because they haven't decided to move on. Wow, and you, to, you, and, you and, said and, a mouthful, yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where so they're I, not I, ready to move on. <laughs> there you go. And I still see him or sometimes her at those birthday parties and at the kids get togethers and you know what I'm saying? So, so how can I, how can I get through Lord? Lord, give me something. How can I get through? And then the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart, put it in a song, put it in a song, put all the lyrics down. And, and, and as I, I sat there and I wrote it, you know, under, it was like three in the morning and I just started to, I could just see it in my head, the dialogue, the things that he says, the things that she says, and, and how they rationalize in their mind. So it helped to heal me because the Spirit of God showed me the, the other side of it, the justification of it, and the reason why they say. 
So when we did the video, um, some people were really put off by the video for Love Myself. That's the name of the mm. song. Now, you know, mm -hmm. I love the fact that you said that because a mm -hmm. lot of times as first ladies, I'm, come on, mm -hmm. Lady J, as first ladies, they approach us differently than they approach the pastor. So it's almost mm -hmm. like you're getting chastised for doing what God said do. Mm-hmm, 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 yeah. And, and I can see uh. that happening because that, when I looked at your video, it is so powerful to see the black eye, to see the, you know, your hair covering your eye and just the reactions in the song. I mean, that was very, very, very powerful. And when you have been through something like that, it probably is, is a trigger. But, mm -hmm. you know, because of the lyrics, it's a trigger for the right thing to, to get out of that situation. Mm -hmm. That's a very astute perceptive perception because when I sang the song, I was invited to go to the prison. So uh, they were like, well, will you come sing? I said, absolutely. To minister mm -hmm. at a, at, in the prison. So I went in there and that song, my husband and I did a reenactment of the video. And what we did is he, he, he did the part, you know, we were like kind of dancing, playful. But then when we got into the firing match, right? And then, uh, and it wasn't very, mm -hmm. it wasn't much, just a little pushing, a little pushing. And then when we got to him bringing flowers out and, 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 the, and, the, and the romance part and the women watched, the, heard the lyrics and watched the reenactment, it was a trick mm -hmm. for some mm -hmm. of those women. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was, I was chastised about it and it came up in their counseling and, and I, I, I didn't know how to take that. But then I said, you know what, Lord, it's your music. I know I wrote those lyrics. And those letters, lyrics were written according to what you gave me through and by your Holy Spirit. So in order for it to trigger something, it got, but because if it triggers you and you listen to it, the healing yes. is in the song. I'm not just writing like stuff. The oh, look at this. You yes. Know? Yes. It's the, it's like the, the no healing is in the song. Yeah, so I'm not oh, just yeah. saying, oh, there's your trigger. Let's, that's it. You know, work it out. No, I'm saying, look, these are the steps. This is what it looks yeah. like, you know. So, um, yeah. yeah, but it's, there was a lady who testified. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, it is very powerful. You you were on it. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there, there, there was a woman that came up to me afterwards. And this, this is the one struggle with my music. Everything that I sing and write about, I have not gone through. And people listen to the lyrics, and it and it's it's so um, just goes straight down, like the word of God goes straight down to the marrow. Um, they think that that's my testimony. So when the song first came out, I had to make sure I told the church, "No pastor never beat on me," because they were just like, right. they were like right. Come on. Because, <laughs> you know how you know how us church right. I'm gonna say us us church folks yes. have got to be always on the inside. Lady yeah. Jay, mm -hmm. you can tell yeah. us, you can tell us, right. baby, you can say it now. Look like it happened yeah. a long time ago. <laughs> no, because <laughs> they ain't seen no recent bruises. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looked like a, I knew I knew she was wearing that foundation for something. You know how she come in with them glasses. Yeah. But uh, no, that wasn't the case. But this. The, this woman shared with me, she said, you know, I am a survivor of domestic violence. And I was like, praise God. And she said, if I, if I make it through the next few weeks, um, I will be, uh, you know, free. I'll finish my sentence because he didn't make it. She said, so it, what happened is she killed her husband. Ooh. And she was finishing okay. up her term. <laughs> yeah. Now, so, so, Lady Crystal. I'm like, yes, because I know that a lot of women are in prison because they either mm -hmm. covered for their man, mm -hmm. they did what their man wanted them to do, or they ended up killing their man in defense. Mm -hmm. It was either him or her. So, you know, there's a lot of those cases, and that's why that song needed to be um, where you... Um, and reenacted it and sang it was in the prison because 
like you said, it was in them. It's their story. It's some of their stories. Mm -hmm. And so it, mm -hmm. it's some people that are free that got away with it, that, you know, mm -hmm. didn't go to jail, didn't go behind, you know, the, the, the cement walls and the bars, but they went through that torment. And the one thing about taking somebody's life is that memory, that thought, that trauma lasts for a lifetime. Because mm -hmm. they really loved them. They yeah. were just fighting for yeah. their life. The, the, the part that was very specific as far as the triggering point was after, you know, the little push and pull little or, you know, thing that my husband and I did. It was the verse where it says, I know sometimes he may lose it. It doesn't mean he is abusive. It's mean. I think it's mean. I got to not make my man mad. That is where the trigger was. And right. that's where they saw themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can and, see uh, that. I can see then, that. Yeah. Because yeah. then it even, then, I, then the next part is, I can change. I can change. Mm -hmm. Lord, he said he never hurt me again. So mm -hmm. it really gets on down in there, you know. Right. But I just praise God for that song. Right. And, and that's that's what is so powerful about that song is it takes you through all the emotions that the um, beaten woman goes through. Mm -hmm. All the emotions, mm -hmm. all the faces in one song. So that that is such mm -hmm. that is so powerful and just such a blessing to um, to see and to experience because they're not very many artists like you that will actually deal with the big things, the big stuff. So go ahead, Reverend Red. I know I done took up all the time. Go ahead, no, Reverend. No, I, I mean this was. I mean this was, This needs to be heard. You know that's what I'm saying. That needs to be heard. It's not like y'all are talking that stuff that don't make sense. This needs to be heard. And people that's listening probably need to be set free. Somebody, I believe by now in the name of Jesus, somebody got delivered just listening. You know and. And maybe Jay just want to let you know before the show is over, we're going to give an opportunity to share your social media, your website, you know, email, however, whatever you want to share so people can get in touch with you, listen to your music, listen to what you have to say, and know more about you, your Instagram and all that, because you are very encouraging and uplifting. You know, that's why you let you know we're going to give you that opportunity, okay? Amen. So, Thank um, you, sir. The next thing. The next thing I want to share with you, um, um, what I what I what I like about you, um, I like about your music and um, what you bring is your your, your music and your songs um, do the issues. You know, I even went and listened to the, all the Christmas songs that you had, and the the, the majority of the well, the, all of them basically is dealt with keeping Christ in Christmas. I know one of your songs. Mm -hmm. It said, I'm tell me if I'm mixing up the word. It says, everybody say Xmas. I will never say that. Mm -mm. Unless you mm -mm. remember what song mm -mm. that is. But I remember, I remember that line because right now that's what everybody do. It's Xmas, Xmas season, Xmas. They just want to X fight out of it, huh? You know, and so mm -hmm. I, I love mm -hmm. that about you that you you deal with with hard issues because everybody wants to X fight out of Christmas. You deal with issues as far as say their name. I heard that song too. So I'm going down and this one, like, wow. I don't know if this lady's going to sell a lot of, a lot of albums because she deals with what's real. You know, anybody can sugarcoat an album to make every, make it sound like what everybody want to hear. But when you start dealing with issues, you know, real life issues, what's going on, I mean, that's really stepping out there by faith and saying, God, you told me this. And that's what I'm going to say. Now, what I'm going to ask you is about your intro. You know what intro I'm talking about, right? Mm-hmm. I think I know where you're going, uh, Brother Pat. The intro when you say, because, you know, you, you, the reason I'm saying that, because if I was standing next to you, I have my two fingers in my eyes and pulling in your eyes. Because my wife didn't say this all the time. I don't like church folks. <laughs> <laughs> that's my wife right if, here. If, if. And people, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, first I want to say uh, to to real gospel missionary Baptist church. I love y'all. I love I love church yeah. folks. <laughs> it's, it's a certain type of church folks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm no, saying, we don't have it. I'm not gay. Wait a minute. But here's it is. Hey, hey, lady, lady, there is church. There's church folks, and then there are believers. You know, the church Amen. folks are going to sit there and talk about what you're doing, what 
what you're wearing, um, oh, what you come said, on. that is a look at Red lipstick, loopy earrings, all the dress, the shoes are to show her toes. They, that's what they come mm. to church for. Those are church folk. Oh, they mm-hmm. rapping. Oh, look at that. That that beat don't sound like a spiritual beat. Blah, 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 blah. Those are church folk. See, believers Ooh, know. You must have read. You must have heard the reviews. Know. You must have heard the reviews. <laughs> that's, how, that's why I loved it when I was listening to it. Oh, she's like, yeah, if I could sing, that's what I'd be saying. Exactly. Believe is going to go. Oh, you a rapper for the gospel? Okay, you rapping the word of God? Go ahead. Baby. Okay, mm. this is what God gave you. Um, Lady J, sing it, sing it, girl. Let me let them hear it. Touch them, prick them, whatever you need to do. And so the question I want to ask you: When did you first recognize the battle? You know that you had to go through, and how did you? How did you feel when you first? Heard that because I asked the rappers, and we have some rap gospel rappers on the show, and they would admit, like, man, they heard my feelings because the words I'm putting together and I'm rapping it, um, and they just the church folks get so caught up in the beat, like, oh, that's not godly, that's not spiritual, that, that's not, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm like, so the question to you is, how did you first feel when you, when you felt that vibe, like, okay, they are not with it, or they are against me, and how can they be? Because we serve the same God. I'm trying to do God's work. How did that feel to you? Um, well, you know, it, it it don't nothing feels good when somebody when you create something or the Lord gives you something, they say, I don't like that. <laughs> so that does not feel yeah. good. Um, but my yeah. husband prepared me for that, you know, as a and, and okay, you know, nice. you okay. your, your wife with the with the letter of the word, you know, and, and he and he he heard what the Lord was giving me, he heard where I was going and he said, Baby you know that's not going to be for everybody, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm mm-hmm. you, you don't think so? I was so naive. No. But God gave okay, you to me. It's going to be for the, that's for the Christians. They okay. going through past. He's like, it's not going to be for everybody. It's not going to be. He said so, so long. But so long as you know that God gave it go. to you, he's yeah. going to take the music to where it needs to go. And then that's when, that's when I put that in the song. I held on to that word that he gave me. And that, that was prophetic. It, it proved to be real. Um, I have had people uh, tell me they love it, you know, but the reason I don't, I, I don't just, I don't listen to other people and imitate everybody. Like to me, a lot of what we hear uh, sounds the same. Like they got the same people producing everybody. Exactly. And, yeah. Come on. Uh, you know, and I, 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 and me, I like different. I like different. I like things to seem innovative, just like the movies. You know, a lot of times it's like, the same. Exactly. how many times y'all gonna remake it? How many yes. times, Lord? Till we get some originality. Where's the new night? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> run, 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 for it. Run, run. Don't help you. Kill it, kill it. It's 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 Promote 
uh, fade to black and 2020 vision, because that came out at the beginning of 2020 with the I hate the mask and all of that. That we're still on right, right, right. Uh, out of the out of the box and the songs from the first album, Tales of a Congregation. We never we never got to church games. You know, you're doing too much. And I, I listened, but the spirit of the Lord spoke to my heart and was saying, No, but such a time is now. You can't just sit on it. Right. The, the word of God is alive. The music is alive. I'm you know, listening soul. You know, Lady J, I love the fact that you're saying that because so many things were shut down during COVID. Um, but and a lot of artists were looking for places and looking for things to do. And they were making music, you know, but they were trying to find ways to get it out. And to me, 2020 obviously was a, a time that you were to create and push it all out. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. did a phenomenal yeah. job. I mean, you yes, just you were did. listening to God and one song after another. Now, I did hear you right when you said you have your own studio. Yes, ma'am. So yes, do you ma'am. um do you do music for other people or just yourself? I I haven't I haven't been invited or nobody's inquired for me to do any music for them. Um I would definitely prayerfully consider. I'm, I'm first and foremost a writer. Uh, the production and all of that I know how to do from, you know, my father and being in studios and growing up around it. Uh, but my heart is always lyric. You know, so if somebody okay, came to me okay. and they said, hey, here's some music. Put a song to it. It's, mm-hmm. it's a gift. It's a gift. I'm like, what, what, what topic do you want? What you want to sing yeah. about? Then I'll let you. Okay. <laughs> It got to okay. be Christian now. It got to be Christian. So what, 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 what are we doing with this? Are we just going to do basic praise and worship? Are we telling a story? What's, what's your feel? Well, you know, having a studio is very powerful. So you might just want to, you know, look at advertising out there. You might even get people that, you know, want to do stuff like audibles, you know, reading their books and need need a studio, you know. And uh Wait a minute, wait a minute, uh, Pastor, first lady. Yes, yes. I, I know you have a book. You have a book. Are you Are you saying you want me to read something? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We, look. Well, you know, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. saying. I'm just saying. Well, you know what? I also, I have a new collaboration <laughs> book that's coming up. Just came out. Just came out. Like, yeah. I'm looking for um, co-authors. Christian leaders mm. to be co-authors. So I see that you write and, <laughs> you know, so, ju- you know, we, we can talk oh. about it afterwards or on the side, but um, because I, I don't know. That, I don't know about writing a book, First Lady. I, it's, no, I it's just, just a chapter. The music to it. No, oh, okay, look, okay. it's just okay. a chapter. It, look, it's just a chapter. It's just It'd a chapter. Be a chapter. It'd be a it's, chapter. It's just one chapter. <laughs> see? Mine's gonna be like the book of songs, brother Pastor. Yeah. But it could be. But it could be. But you know, we we might need to get together about you know doing some background music because I do want to do my book on on Audible. So yes, we oh, will talk about beautiful. that. <laughs> okay. right. But know. yeah, that's a blessing to be able to get up out of bed and go straight to your studio and be able to produce what God said, and that's powerful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got we got an exclusive here on, on Power List tonight. We got a collaboration coming, Lady Jane. Yes. I can see that. Yes. Oh, you, you, you heard it here. It's new to class. You heard it here. You heard it here. Heard it here. <laughs> heard it here. <laughs> hey, hey, Absolutely. Jerry, Jerry, <laughs> hey, Jerry, Jerry wants his cut. Jerry said, I want my cut. <laughs> but, um, but Lady Jane, let, let me ask you this now, Lady Jane. Um, with, um, I'm, I'm going to go back a little bit, um, the COVID, you know, and, and I see where in the middle of, and I'm going to ask how you did this, okay? Because you said your three albums came in 2020, right? hmm I have four okay, albums. Well, this, when it, uh, Tales of a Congregation was 2019. Then we went okay. into 2020 Vision, and then I got Faith right. Black, you know, so it kind of right. started with the Christmas album. And so then now on 
February 22nd, 22, 2222 is when second <laughs> coming is going to, it's going to hit. That's when that's going to drop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like it was during, during COVID. God gave me a lot of music. And that's what I was going to ask you. When everybody was shut down, everybody was shocked. Everybody didn't know what was going on. What possessed you to like, you know, stay in your studio and to do songs? You know, because, you know, a lot of people I've heard, you know, some of our guests say, yes, COVID helped because it let me see myself. I put more work in. But we want to hear your story. So I listen to audience now. There's people still going through COVID stress right now. They just don't know what to mm-hmm. do, how to deal with this, what's going on. More stuff is coming, a new variant is coming in, and they just feel like life is not working for them right now. So what is what mm-hmm. do you do? I mean, how do you feel just enthused and excited and like, okay, I'm not worried about a virus. virus. How do you feel the energy to feel right and oh. do and sing and bring out in the midst of a pandemic and a shutdown? It's, it's all God. It really is because it's the Lord that woke me up in the middle of the night. I, I was waking up at three o'clock in the morning. I was the music was on me so bad, brother pastor. I, I would mm. sit here and literally just get up to go, you know, check on the kids. Uh, baby, you all right? You want something to eat? Okay, you good? And I'm 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 right back at it. I was just like I was just locked away in in the in the zone, and I thank God that my husband released me to do that and and what it produced because after I finished 2020 that's all I had planned I did my little Christmas album I did 2020 and I said okay we good but then when I saw George Floyd Mm. and I saw that man Mm. put his knee on his neck and kill Mm. that man like that that Mm -hmm. bothered me and it it, 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 and then the the mandates with the mask that started wearing on me the church being Mm -hmm. closed you know we were closed by almost 15 months that bothered me yes and i was like lord i gotta work through it and what the lord kept giving my husband when he kept pouring uh into me when he and i would talk about it into the congregation was uh chronicles you know like if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray if 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 the church get right if the church turn away from their sin then -hmm. maybe we can get the we know the lord will heal the land but when is the church gonna turn away when we gonna stop playing these Mm -hmm. games and treating gospel See? music and the things that we do for Christ Come like a on. business mm-hmm. instead of like praise and worship and giving God glory. When are we going to stop all this building system and start building, truly building the kingdom and women's souls for Christ? When are we going to stop running mm-hmm. around saying, look at me, look at me? So when God shut it all down, it levels the playing yeah. field. And Come it allowed an independent, a little independent artist like me, little housewife, been at home, you know, sitting in the background, first lady, okay, pastor, you know, you want your water to step out and to step into the ministry. So I, the Fade to Black album is me going through the whole gymnastic. I said, I can't be the only Christian going through of, of how to deal with it. What's the solution? Where did this come from? So, so when I did say their name, I thought about how we always say the names of the victims. But why do these police officers and these individuals get to go off and get new jobs and act like nothing never Mm -hmm. happened? Because we don't Mm -hmm. say their names. So let's put it to some music and get it out there so that their names can be remembered. So that when they surface, even if you were never convicted, even if you were found not guilty, according to man, we know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds great. Oh my God! That's, that's so just awesome. yeah. Oh my God! That's so powerful. <laughs> so awesome. Yeah, so awesome. Lady J, at this time, you're the one to do. <clears throat> Tell our listening audience your um, social media, website, wherever they can touch with you. How they can listen to your music. How they can listen to your music. I listen to it all day, so I'm I'm good. I'm <laughs> you know, but at this time, go ahead, Lady J, and, and, and share that with with our listening audience. Okay. Well. uh I'm officially Lady J, but before but before I do that, uh, please join me as, as when the interview concludes to go over to TikTok and visit Team Sexy S E Triple X Y. That's that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Right. Okay. But after after you get done watching all the Team Sexy videos, then you over there at TikTok. 
It's going to be good. Go I can guarantee you. it. Okay. And leave it's a comment to the light. Leave a comment to the light. I can't wait to see it. So uh, when you're laying over there, go to TikTok officially Lady J. And then if you say, hmm, I wonder what she's doing on Instagram, go to at officially Lady J. Hey, you know, I wonder if she got a website. Go to officiallyladyj.com. What? Facebook? Officially Lady J. So everything about me <laughs> is officially Lady J. You say you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You want to subscribe to my YouTube channel? Guess where you going? What you going to look up? Officially? Oh, I heard somebody say officially Lady J. Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. <laughs> church church made to leave millions mm. that's church leadership and the success tank being successful in life love and leadership you gotta come you gotta come okay gotta yeah come. email you know if you can email it to me or put it dm or will. put it on my i know we friends on facebook now so yes. that i know where i'm going because i don't want first lady i don't want to be in the wrong room don't let me go in the wrong room <laughs> please they got a lot of rooms over there <laughs> it is it is <laughs> And the devil got them room doors open, and I'm not trying to look yeah. in them rooms. I ain't trying to see. <laughs> and you go, you go into a room with some church folk, and you really be in trouble. Yes, yes. Wow. It's, a, it's a lot. It's a lot in the yeah. street, yeah. but it's good. It's yeah. all good. Come on, I, I, I want the room where it's an old lady standing out in front saying, "Come on, and there we That's that's the room I'm looking for. Uh, <laughs> there's room at the cross for your room. There's room yeah, at the cross. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, but as our time goes short, we've been having so much fun. Lady J, I know you've been fun on here. And Lady, Lady K, you want to tell her you want me to tell her? You can tell her. You can tell her. I can tell her. Lady J, I need you to take out your official, the official Lady J fan book, right? Because I know you have mm-hmm, one, right? Mm-hmm. Just mm, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm going to write it on this paper with this crayon that I got. So we yeah, write it down. <laughs> you, can add, you can add Lady Lady, Lady K and Reverend Red as official, okay, official fans of yours, okay? So can you do okay, that? Okay, so let me write Let me write it down. One and two. <laughs> Reverend Red. <laughs> we, we the first two? Okay, we the first two. We'll take that, Lady, Lady K. We the first two on the list. I'm starting to list now. We'll take that. <laughs> Shot, you shout yeah. out to, to, to um, 
Oh, oh, maybe officially Lady J's husband. What's the name? Share his name on here. We don't want to call him Lady J's husband. I don't know. I'm, I don't want the sisters coming after my husband. He a good man. I heard the interview. I'm about to go to his church. Where they at? Oh, they over there. Let me go visit their church. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh no. I, I shot him out. I shot him out. <laughs> I want to thank God for my beautiful husband, Pastor Tracy uh, L. Wilson, Pastor T. L. Wilson, and uh, Real Gospel Missionary Baptist Church. We are live on Facebook, too, just like my brother and sister. And I would invite y'all to come on in the room and praise God and just continue to pray for us and pray for our ministry. And uh, I thank God for a wonderful man of God that continues to push me forward in the things of Christ and not try to hold me back and allow the Lord to utilize my gift. I thank God for him. Amen. 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 You see, some of our, I told you this, Lady Kay and Lady, Lady, Lady Jay, some of our husbands, some of these husbands, either they're going to push you into your calling and into what God has called you to do, or either they're going to push you off the cliff. But anyway, we're going to okay. the show mm. on that one. Okay. We're going to close this one. You know, so I thank God for you, um, Lady Jay, officially Lady Jay. We, we love you. We thank God for you. I mean, your energy, your laughter, your joy, your intelligence, your, I mean, your insight is just amazing on our show tonight. Yes. We want to shout out to our boy, Jerry Roy Live. Thank yes. you. Woo! Thank man. you. Man. Yes. Thank you. 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 Every Thursday, he makes it happen with an amazing, absolutely wonderful guest. So we thank him. The Positive Power 21 family. We shout out to our family and Positive Power 21 radio. God bless this radio, this podcast. Thank you so much to my lovely, my beautiful wife. Thank my, you. My writer, die, my everything. I love my <laughs> lady, Kay. Yes. Love you to our listening audience. We love you guys. Thank you. Um, tune back in and, and, and listen to the replay and to our amazing guest, officially, Lady J. Lady J. We love you. God bless you. Oh, I love you guys. You know, Thank you. And hey, you have a great and a blessed night. So with that being said, we like to say good night and goodbye. Good night. God Be bless. There. Love you. Bye-bye. Power lift. Living in faithful truth. John 8 and 32 says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Power to lift you up. Power to set you free. We need a power lift. The truth will set you free. Living in faith with truth. Receive the word you need. Power of the gospel ministries. Preach the word indeed. We here to help each other. Witness the truth and protect each other. So we set aside ourselves so we can reach each other. So let your worship cry. Let your praise out. Now let the truth offend you. Release that holy shout. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.